are several dystopian elements underscoring Mewtwo's creation that complicate the ethical implications of genetic modification. A dystopia is a society that illustrates unsettling themes, often highlighting extremes like oppression and hunger. Mewtwo's creation, however, underscores the ethical implications of genetic modification. Its origin varies across media. In Pokemon Red and Blue, for example, Mewtwo is a descendant of Mew. In the first Pokemon movie, it's genetically modified from Mew. In Pokemon Go, players can encounter an armored Mewtwo. Despite these variations, the common thread is genetic manipulation, resulting in unintended consequences. Scientists lose control over Mewtwo, leading to chaos and mirroring real-world concerns like controversies surrounding genetically modifying children or CRISPR gene editing technology. On the surface, Mewtwo is portrayed as a man-made abomination, but let's consider the context of other popular culture icons, monsters, and myths that center on genetic modification. Mewtwo's creation mirrors real-world controversies surrounding genetic modification, like in CRISPR gene editing. This idea is also interrogated in the movie Gattaca. Based on Mewtwo's Pokedex entries, it's deemed one of the most powerful Pokemon. Gattaca also explores a future where genetic engineering creates perfect humans. This raises questions about eugenics and human value. While Mewtwo faces discrimination and prejudice from humans who fear its power, the movie Gattaca interrogates a society that is stratified between genetically engineered and non-engineered humans, which highlights issues of social stratification and inequality. Mewtwo's quest for identity and purpose parallels Frankenstein's monster. Both seek acceptance and grapple with isolation. Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein underscores humanity's desire for control and ownership over something created. Recall that Dr. Frankenstein stitches together corpses and imparts life to a being known as Frankenstein's creature. While Mewtwo struggles with its identity and purpose in the first Pokemon movie, Mewtwo strikes back, and even in Detective Pikachu, so too does the creature. Both seek acceptance and understanding and grapple with isolation and loneliness. While Frankenstein's creature seeks out the wilderness and lives near a family, helping gather firewood and clear paths in the snow, the creature discovers how hideous it is, facing rejection from the family. The creature then decides to seek out Victor Frankenstein, struggling with its identity and purpose. After helping a young boy out of the river, the creature is injured by the boy's father and thus vows to take revenge against all of humanity. Mewtwo, by contrast, takes over the abandoned Team Rocket Lab on New Island and sends a hologram message, inviting trainers to a challenge. Mewtwo begins collecting samples of the trainer's Pokemon, cloning them. While the creature turns against all of humanity and directs its anger and frustration towards Victor Frankenstein, Mewtwo seeks power and independence. Mewtwo's creation reflects a narrative of power and control, often seen in dystopian societies where a stratified hierarchy dominates. Mewtwo's creation critiques the ethics of genetic control and the consequences of manipulating life. Mewtwo's character development also overlaps with other iconic literary and filmic characters who question their own creation and existence. Beyond Frankenstein and Gattaca, other examples include Blade Runner, which explores humanity and artificial beings and their existential crises. There's also Jurassic Park, which focuses on ethical implications of recreating extinct creatures through genetic engineering. And there's also the Alien series, which also explores genetic and bioethical implications of genetic engineering. However, Leaning into Mewtwo's cultural symbolism, Mewtwo has become a cultural symbol representing power, identity, and existentialism. Mewtwo's arc demonstrates that despite ill feelings toward humanity, Mewtwo, like in Mewtwo Strikes Back and Detective Pikachu, begins to understand the value of humanity and undergoes a character arc that leans heavily into the civic imagination. Mewtwo begins to imagine a better world, one more equitable and fair, in both Mewtwo Strikes Back and Detective Pikachu, where Mewtwo aids an injured Pikachu and saves a human. Mewtwo's actions offer an example of not only scientific responsibility, like in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and social stratification in Gattaca, but also the impact of empathy for life forms, even genetically engineered ones. Mewtwo's ability to imagine a better world, one more fair and equitable, asks us as viewers and fans of Pokemon to think about our understanding of ethics, especially in the age of artificial intelligence and genetic engineering. I hope you like this video. Next up is Pokemon from Space and the overlap with the Alien franchise. Catch you later.